hey, beautiful people on TikTok and YouTube, so I want to confront um, why or explain why you should protect your home and yourselves and your family from spiritual attack. Um, so there's, there's every Christian experiences spiritual attack. Every Christian experiences, you know, jealousy, envy, strife, things like that. But then there are some people chosen by God that will experience extreme spiritual attacks that play out in the physical. And I'll give an example. Maybe somebody's a missionary to a country like China that's closed. They don't want Bibles to get, get into the people. Or maybe someone uh, back in the 1500s was burned at the stake for writing the Bible in their language and trying to give it to the people. So those are examples of extreme spiritual attacks. Um, another example might be you battling a, to get somewhere and it's just not going anywhere. Uh, look, you, here's some things you'll experience. And when I say spiritual attack, I don't mean just bad luck. I mean someone has it out for you and has possibly gone to the extent of doing witchcraft on your life and it is very common i did not realize how common that it was for people to do and to take matters into their own hands and i'm gonna give you some good examples of this in the bible um jealous women and men will do things like destiny swap. I had never heard of this. So I took a spiritual warfare Bible study and I started praying over the, the things that had happened that I've been through the last four years. And God just started revealing things to me one right after the other, like, oh my gosh, I had it all laid out there in front of me, but I didn't commune with God with it. I'm over here just living my life and, and trying to do right, walking in obedience. And when the Bible says, asking you shall receive. And when I started asking, I started getting more information that I wanted to know. But here's some things that when you have chaos come into your home on a massive scale, uh, number one, a, a symptom of uh, somebody placing witchcraft over your life, uh, you'll have brain fog. You will have gut problems. Often you're, you'll have eyesight problems because they have closed off your ability to see what they are doing to you. You will experience migraines and stress headaches in that third eye area. Most likely, your pineal, gl your pineal gland will be calcified. Um, you'll have plumbing problems. You'll have blockages and moving forward in things. You will walk in fear. Uh, you will start to be depressed. You may have car problems. Uh, you may have problems with uh, your home your family. Um, you will have third parties come in uh, and try to destroy your blessings. Let me give you a good example. Destiny swapping. Someone wants to be you. They want your blessings. They want your place. Look up Jacob and Esau. Now, it was ordained by God, but Jacob took Esau's blessing by disguising himself as Esau. Look up Joseph and his brothers. They were jealous and they wanted the blessing that Joseph had upon his life, so they sold him into slavery. Uh, Isaac and Ishmael. Sarah went outside of God's will, got Abraham to have a son. That son had to be sent away. He hated Isaac so much, he was uh, jealous of him. The Bible says that it got to the point where they had to actually send the child and his mother away. So, people will be jealous of you, but I'm talking about extreme things. Like, there's a thing called chaos magic. And you will have disruptions in your life from moving forward. There will be fighting and conflict everywhere you turn. It'll be hard for you to progress. Chaos magic is probably one of the worst because you can't tell where the next hit's coming from. Um, third parties will come in. Uh, another one is seduction magic. Someone that wants your, and I actually heard a story of, when I started researching this and I started looking into it, uh, some seduction magic, women will try to take your spouse. Uh, oftentimes it's women trying to seduce men um, into a relationship. So I heard the story of this woman and this older couple, the man's, you know, Satan will attack you through 
you know, your, your weak points. And this man was weak in lust. So he starts having an affair with this younger woman. This younger woman did some things that caused the wife to get sick. And until they were able to break the curse, the woman was almost dead because the younger woman wanted this man. So seduction magic, chaos magic, destiny swapping. Um, another one, they will take items of yours and place curses on them. And then all of a sudden you will be experiencing either extreme loss, the chaos, uh, family disruption. Another one is contracts. They will have you sign contracts because then it is binding in the courts of heaven and earth that you are bound to them. One second. Okay. Um, that's why God says don't take an oath or make sure you can fulfill it. Um, I'm sure many people have signed contracts they wish they didn't. Uh, it can be... Uh, I'm not talking about a contract to pay your truck note or to pay your car, your lease. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about contracts that uh, bind you to people for, for no really... And have extreme expectations. Um, but the contract would be bonding unless you burn it. It would be bound in on earth and heaven. Um, let's see. Uh, be careful of what you tell others about your relationships. Because if they are jealous, if they are a monitoring spirit that watches, if they uh, have attached themselves to any demon demonic forces, they will use those weaknesses to attack your home. Um, so let's talk about some different things that you can do. Number one, if people are saying things about you and they use the term fear, I fear that you blah, blah, blah. They're trying to cast that spell over your life and that frequency that leaves their mouth is trying to come to you. You need to be pro pronouncing protection over your home and your family every day. You wake up with gratitude and you thank God for what you have. But if you are experiencing anything like depression, filth, car trouble, I could go into some of the, my personal examples, but I'm not going to. Um, like I said, plumbing, gut issues, uh, having pain in your legs that's affecting your root chakra. Someone's tried to unstable your finances. Um, it could be a spiritual attack. And I'm going to tell you something. You find out somebody's done witchcraft on you, I mean witchcraft, not talking bad about you, not gossiping, not just jealous, but done actual witchcraft, you have the power they have done come onto your home field and you have the power to send it back tenfold. I'm going to tell you what to do. You're going to keep your frequency high and stay obedient. Don't be out here sleeping around. Don't be messing with addictions. Don't be out here being jealous of people and not living right. You walk in obedience and you have the total control and power over what happens. You're going to send it back by having the highest frequency possible. Do you know the frequency of fear is a four? That means that frequency is almost dead. Um, salt baths. Eat right. Uh... Hang on. Okay. Speak the word of God over yourself and your family. If you want to remove a hex, you're going to go to Psalm 7, 1 through 10. You want to return the evil done to you, you're going to go to Psalm 91, 5, 6, and 7. Do not tell me God does not want you to return evil for evil. In the Old Testament, David had to beg for, him, for God to lift. He says, destroy thou them, O God, that have come against me. Let them fall by their own counsels. Yes, it gets to a point where you have to return it. And when God gets activated because you are in spiritual warfare, they have gone above and beyond and contacted the spiritual realm, you win. Oh my gosh, you are in control. You, Jesus said, my, my uh, kingdom is not of this world. It is in the spiritual. So that is where you have all of your power if you're walking in obedience. And if you feel that someone has come against you or your home, you cleanse your home with the things of the spiritual world. That is your voice, and that is the things from creation. So, check out my website, Missy's Naturals, if you're interested in some essential oils and herbs. And I'm going to do a spiritual cleansing video of making the spray later today.